Hey, good morning. So today we woke up early and we decided to go out. Um, Bella hadn't been in a bike ride, I don't think ever. And uh, <laughs> I think this bike is already too small for her. So we might have to get a bigger one for her. And then Miguel is back there. He's all excited. He's a little frustrated because he wants to go faster, but he's he has to wait for us. Um, Bella is trying. You see that little tricycle right there? Yeah. And oh, Miguel's gonna do a little bank, bike ride. Nice. You wanna do it, Bella? You wanna do it? Okay, wait, wait. Let me push you. Okay, it's gonna go down. Control it, control it. <laughs> you see, this bike is too small for her. So we're gonna have to get her. We're gonna have to tell daddy to buy you a new one. Huh? Yeah. Alright. Oh my god, it's over there, so. So we got here to the park. The kids are pretty tired. How was it? Are you tired, Bella? Yeah? She's all sweaty. I guess it was kind of a bad decision to come over at this time. But, um, they don't want to go back. They actually like it. It's only like 10 minutes away from walking. But it's pretty hot. I mean, it is 10 in the morning, but it's still pretty hot out here. The kids are. They still have energy, though. They're all running everywhere. We're the only crazy ones in the park, though. So... So we got back from the park. Uh, never again. We won't do it again. It was really hot. It was I. We don't even know how we made it. It was so hot. Uh, but she was so tired. And we're now having some fruit. What are you eating? You want to tell them what you're eating? What is it? Apple, strawberry, uvas. Apple, strawberries, and uvas. Grapes. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So, you wanna go to a park? Let's go to a park. <laughs> and listen, no, but this is hot. <laughs> it was pretty hot, huh? Then check it out. Yeah. She was, she was crying on her back. I know, I feel so bad, but um, I carried her. I carried her like halfway back here. Uh, but she was crying that she was just tired that her stomach hurt. But uh, we got home and now she's good. I did get a little worried because they were both really tired. Miguel is trying to get his bike up. Uh, but yeah, uh, so right now we're just having some fruit. And we learned our lesson not to go out in the sun. Wait until the sun goes a little more down later on or a lot earlier. But yeah. So I'm getting ready to cook um, to cook some dinner. Um, I am gonna go ahead and make some salad. It's the, I don't know if you guys have seen this um, before. It's from Costco, we love it, it's our favorite. Um, Robert can eat it. It's just like a plain, it gives you, it brings everything. The only thing is that um, broccoli comes in the big chunks, but I cut them into little small pieces. Um, I just, I think it's better to eat it in little pieces than those big chunks. Um, so I just need to put in the glaze. Glaze, but I'm not going to put it until we are ready to eat so it won't get soggy or whatever. And we are going to be making some tri-tip. This is the best tri-tip we've ever bought before. Um, it's the Steakhouse Classic tri-tip and we got it at Costco. So, um, since we, I don't know if you guys know, but we live in some apartments so we don't, we're not able to grill. We're, we don't have any grills outside and we are not allowed to grill either the only way to grill is to go out we have a swimming pool so but we're not gonna go all the way over there so we are trying we're gonna intend to do it we're gonna try to put it in here oh i'm doing some asparagus in there but uh, we're gonna try to do it right here on the bottom um side we've done steaks before right there and they came out pretty good so hi <laughs> So we are gonna go ahead and try to do this tri-tip. Um, we'll see how it comes out. We, like I just said, um, we've never done it before like that. But we've done a few steaks down there and they taste the same. Um, I guess they're, the fire is out there, so we'll see. And we'll let you guys know how it comes out. Hopefully it comes out good. Hi guys. Yay! Say hi, Ray. 
so hi. And today we, mommy is cooking. We are playing with a toy. What are you doing? Can you try Um, it says we usually boil it like for five minutes just so I can finish cooking from the inside. The salad is all done. Put the stuff, the asparagus. I actually put it in the oven for a couple of minutes and then I just throw some lemon pepper and then some um, some lemon on top of it and the mashed potato. It's all done. It looks pretty good. We'll see the end, the end result for it. We'll see. We have to taste it to make sure it's it's actually good. So, my little chef here is cutting it. And it's looking pretty bomb. Just how we like it. I can't wait to eat that. I think that's good enough. Oh, you wanna cut it more? <gasps> oh my god, guys, look at this. It looks really good. Uh, we had a little piece of the meat. We couldn't wait until it was actually um, cut in the plate. So we just had a little piece and it came out really good. Um, but right now we are about to eat and um, can't wait for it. So we are going to go ahead and end the vlog for today. But before we end it, uh, me, Bella wants me to read her her um, goodnight book. Before we go to bed, I usually try to, if I don't read it, Miguel with her will cover me, cover my back and do it for me. But we usually try to read a story for Bella before she goes back to bed. Right? Are you going to come over and read it with us, Miguel? Yeah, we know. And then we're going to read it. Alright. Yes, I will. Do you want me to wait for you or you want me no, to start I, it? I, I already went. Okay. Alright. Come over. Wait. Let me read this Alright. All right, so we're just waiting for Miguel to get over here. Come on, anytime, Miguel. We're just waiting for you. Tick tock, tick tock. All right, are you ready? You wanna read it? Or you want me to read it? You. You want me to read it? All right. So I will read it today. All right. It's called "A Fly Went By" by Dr. Seuss. Oh no. Yeah. All right. A fly went by. I sat by the lake. I looked at the sky. And as I looked, a fly went by. A fly went by. He went. He said, oh dear, I saw him shake. He shook his fear. 
And when I saw that fly go past, I asked him why we went so fast. I asked him why we shock with fear. I asked him what he said. Oh dear. He said, I must get out of here. <gasps> the fly said, look and you will see. The frog, that frog is after me. The fly went past, the frog came fast. I asked the frog, I asked him why. Why do you want to get that fly? The frog said, me, I want no fly, but I must hop and this is why. That cat, he said, just look and see, the cat, he said, it's after me. Then he was gone with no big hop. The cat ran up and I said, stop. Now stop, stop, stop. I told the cat, no pick on the frog like that. The cat said, look, I want no frog. I have to get away from... What do they have to get away from? Uh oh. Dog! Oh my, look at that. So, the fly ran away in fear of the frog who ran from the cat who ran from the dog. One ran from the other, the other ran too. From one who came after, now what could I do? You see, they're all running away from each other. Alright, um. Away past the lake went the fly and the frog. Away past the lake ran the cat and the dog. The, they went past a shed and they went up a hill. I ran and I said, I will stop them, I will. The fly does not know what the frog is not mad. The frog does not know that cat is not bad. That cat runs in fear of the dog. I can tell. If I can stop him, then all will be well. Alright guys, so we still have a few more pages to go. But this book is a little longer than what I thought. So I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog and finish the books for them. Um, you guys want to say goodnight? Bye. Goodnight. Bye. See you guys in our next vlog. Bye. Bye. Bye.